Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Learning at Home. Today we are going to learn about a new mathematical concept that is fractions. Today's video is basically an introductory one where we are going to learn what are fractions and about the different types of fractions. But before you start watching this video, kindly do subscribe to Learning at Home. to learn about more such mathematical concepts so without further delay let us begin let us begin by understanding what is a fraction a fraction is a part of the whole which means when an object is divided into a number of equal parts then a part of the object is represented by a fraction let us understand this concept with an example let us look at the three squares shown here the first square represents one whole the second square has been divided into eight equal parts out of the eight parts two are shaded so we can say that 2 by 8 of the square is shaded similarly in the third square the whole has been divided into eight equal parts but out of the eight parts five parts are shaded so we can say that 5 by 8 of the square is shaded let us now look at the fraction 5 by 8 where the number written above the line that is 5 is known as the numerator the number written below the line that is 8 is known as the denominator and the line is called as a fraction bar or division bar the number written as a numerator in a fraction tells us how many parts are taken the number written as a denominator in a fraction tells us in how many parts the whole has been divided into let us look at another example to understand the concept of fractions clearly in the box we have two green balls and three red balls so what fraction of red balls are there the answer is 3/5 of the balls are red where 3 the numerator represents the number of red balls and 5 that is the denominator represents the total number of balls present inside the box let us now learn about the different types of fractions so the first type are the like fractions fractions having same denominator are known as like fractions examples 3 by 7 4 by 7 1 by 7 and 2 by 7 all the fractions have the denominator same that is 7 so all the fractions which are shown here are examples of like fractions the second type are the unlike fractions fractions having different denominator are known as unlike fractions now let us see it with an example now here we have 4 by 7 2 by 5 5 by 8 and 1 by 6 all the four fractions have their denominators different so they all are examples of unlike fractions the third fraction is known as a proper fraction a fraction whose numerator is less than its denominator is called as a proper fraction there are some examples shown here where we have fractions 4 by 7 2 by 5 5 by 8 and 1 by 6 all these four fractions are examples of proper fraction why because all these fractions have numerator less than its denominator 
the fourth type of fraction is the improper fraction a fraction whose numerator is greater than or equal to its denominator is called an improper fraction let us look at the examples given below the first three fractions that is 4 by 3 9 by 5 and 23 by 20 are examples of improper fraction because their numerators are greater than its denominators the fourth fraction that is 8 by 8 is also an example of an improper fraction because its numerator is equal to its denominator the fifth type of fraction is known as unit fractions fractions having numerator as one is called unit fraction examples 1 by 5 and 1 by 6. The sixth type of fraction are the equivalent fractions. Fractions that represent the same part of a whole are said to be known as equivalent fractions. Let us look at the first set of examples. The first set that is 1 by 2 and 2 by 4 are examples of equivalent fractions because they represent the same part of a whole. Similarly, the next set that is 1 by 5 and 2 by 10 are also examples of equivalent fractions. Let us now know about the seventh type of fraction that is mixed fraction. A mixed number which is also known as a mixed fraction is a sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Let us now look at the three circles shown below. The first two circles are completely colored, whereas the third circle has only three fourths of it colored. So if we sum up the three, we get two, three by four, which is a mixed number where 2 represents a whole number and 3 by 4 represents a fraction. Now, since we have understood the concept of fractions and we have learnt about the different types of fractions, so we end today's video here. If you think you have understood the concept well, do give a thumbs up by clicking on the like button. Also, do not forget to subscribe to Learning at Home and press the bell icon so that you get notification whenever I post any such educational videos. So keep watching and stay safe.